I am officially a full-time traveler and I am currently in Athens, Greece. Hey everyone, what's up? This is my first official travel vlog. And I'm so excited. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Leah and I am officially a full-time traveler and I am currently in Athens, Greece. I'm going to be in Greece for a whole month. Oh, surprise, I'm in Greece. <laughs> I just got here today. Today is my first day of traveling and being free and I'm so excited. I'm going to first go to pretty sure the Acropolis. Yeah, Acropolis. I cannot speak today. Acropolis is what I'm going to first today. So right now I am looking for the metro and I need to eat first, so food first, then metro. Um, so far, so good. I'm staying in this really cool hostel. It's really nice. It has a rooftop terrace. Sorry guys, I'm looking at my phone because I'm trying to navigate how to get there. Um, it has a rooftop terrace which shows a view of the Acropolis. I will show you guys that tonight when I get back. It was so beautiful at night, oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited to take you guys along with me today. I'm really, really excited. I'm just excited to be here, to be traveling, and yeah. Okay, I found a store. I'm so excited. Budget tip number one, don't go out to eat breakfast. Go grab something. You don't even eat that much for breakfast anyways, let's be real. So. Now I'm at a grocery store. Let's see if I can get something yummy for breakfast. Hello. Crap, I don't know any Greek. I told myself that I needed to study some Greek before I got here, but I was so busy with life. So I'll probably do that tonight. I'll look up some phrases, because right now I have no idea what to even say. Alright, so I'm here at the metro station and I'm going to try and figure out how to get to Acropolis from here. This is like the hardest part of traveling by yourself is trying to figure out public transportation. It's difficult, but once you get a hang of it, it works out. So we'll see if I can make it. It's just so hard because everything is written in Greek and like if you know anything about the Greek language, it's just like the symbols are completely different than American language, so reading anything is so hard. So we'll see. Hopefully I can make it. sweating right now this is so gross it is so hot biggest mistake was sleeping in this morning because it is ridiculously hot and the line was so long I was waiting in line for probably an hour and a half so if you want to visit the Acropolis come first thing in the morning and get here at like 7 30 um, because this yeah but I'm finally in so I'm really excited finally Finally, and it is amazing. It's really, really amazing. Check it out. So, I really want to go to the museum first so I can get some like foundation and learn about the Acropolis. Before I actually see it so I know what's going on so we're gonna do that just have to find it My goodness good lord it is hot I think it's 94 degrees here today plus it's so humid it's like 40% humidity today I need to find some water check out the theater 
So apparently these are the VIP seats right here that were in the theater. Check those out. That's really, really cool. So these are the VIP seats and these are the regular seats. It's the theater. Check out that one over there though. Let me zoom. Check out that one. I want to sit there. That's where I want to sit. <laughs> Check out this beautiful view. I'm not even all the way up at the Acropolis yet, but this view of Athens is just gorgeous. I really, really like how Athens has this like theme where it's just all their buildings are white. It's really beautiful. I love cities like that. It was the same in Portugal and where else? Yeah, I think Portugal. So I stumbled on the theater of Dionysus. So this is known to be the world's first theater, actually, which is absolutely amazing. Like, can you imagine that? Just coming up with the idea of a theater. So this was the birthplace of the Greek tragedy and everything like that. This is absolutely beautiful. It looks like it's made out of marble, or was at some point. It's amazing. Imagine just sitting there. So the higher we get, the more epic this view gets. I'm just like amazed at this view. So at this point, you could see a little bit of the sea. Check it out right there. I cannot wait to the top to get to the top because I feel like it's just going to be a full 360 degrees of Athens and all of its beauty. Oh my gosh. Also, what I noticed about this is check out these floors. Like, I really didn't expect the floors to be this intact and this beautiful. So, I'm pretty sure this right here is like marble. Just wow, just check this out. It's just amazing. So, this right here, I know it doesn't look like anything, but right over there was the Temple of Athena. Which I'm really kind of sad that I didn't realize that there really wasn't that much left. Athena is my favorite Greek goddess, but there's really not much left there anymore, unfortunately. But I'll show you this. This is what it looked like at one point. But now it's all gone. She was still here. And there's so many other temples up here see. Amazing. So let's take a look around. Ooh, it's hot. Still having epic views of Athens up here. So beautiful. And at this point, again, you can just see the coastline. You can see the sea. construction right now which is kind of sucky but I mean it's better for the long run but it's still beautiful regardless of the construction it's so beautiful and we're kind of far away from it right now but it's really really big and it's amazing the columns are just in very good shape very good shape okay guys so I'm finally getting some relief from that heat I am eating in a little cafe I am having this dish called Ganista Greek. And so it looks like bell peppers with some rice and some potatoes and some seasoning. And then I have some bread. So excited to eat. It looks super, super good. 